Yo, I'm Bob. Into Masters of the Universe. Going to be unboxing another action figure from the Origins toy line. And I've been waiting to unbox this guy for quite a while now. This is King Hiss. So, most of the Snake Men, and Eternia anyway, oh, they follow him. And loyally, too, at that. Um, I like that there are now kind of beginning to be other factions in Origins. So, you know, you've got Le Lady Slither and uh, and her house. And then you've got, you know, King Hiss and uh, his royal house of reptilianness or whatever. All right, so all of his pieces are in the, uh, in the packaging here. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to lose this so i'm gonna take the mini comic out put that aside we'll take his figure tray out so none of the other pieces will fall onto the floor that has happened a few times in figure reviews but i'll go ahead i'll go ahead and show him in his more uh humanoid appearance here So yeah, he comes with alternate arms and alternate head, so you can make him more um, well serpentine, if you wanna if you wanna think of it that way. So yeah, there he is. I'm gonna pause the uh, the video, break him out of his figure tray. Stop, Jaws, and uh, we'll have a closer look. So back in the blink of an eye. All right, so got hiss out of the packaging. And he has, I, I want to say this is a longer staff than the other snake men's, possibly. Or maybe it's the same size. To me, it looks, it looks slightly bigger, but I mean, I could be mistaken. So, his has the same shield that came with the Horde Trooper. So it's cool that he's got a shield and his, uh, his staff here. Um, I'm not really sure what he's wearing in terms of uh, his armor here. Well, since he has two forms, I'm guessing that's probably mostly his skin. I don't know if he's got anything on or if he's just kind of, uh, you know, just kind of bare-chested here. Uh, I like his look, though. He's, he's somewhat humanoid. I think he's, he's a bit scaly here. We turn him around to the back. I don't think he has any hair to speak of. Uh, and this version of Hiss, I, I think Mattel probably based him on the um, the '80s version here. So yeah, you can change Hiss's look because you know his his gimmick is, you know, when when you make him mad enough, he. Kind of gets really, really serpentine, and he attempts to he attempts to eat people because that's just kind of what he do. Um, like all the masters of the universe action figures, you can uh, unstrap uh, his armor and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm just kind of doing this as we go here. All of these uh, have this armor that you can you can strap on and strap off and whatnot. So yeah, you can take that armor off. Uh, you can take, you can take these arms off at the shoulders here. Comes right out of the sockets. So you're not gonna hurt him. Um, probably not showing this as well as I would like. Just trying to do some changing and rearranging here. Bear with me, please. <laughs> yeah, try to get that going here. He's got an alternate head and alternate uh, arms, so you can make him more, more serpentine. So, trying to get all that going. I probably should have paused this, but uh, I don't know. I figured I'd try to do it with the. Uh, with the video unpaused. I don't know why. I never really do that, but eh, why not? He's down below the camera, I know. Um, just trying to get all these 
parts onto them here. There we go. Okay. All right. So, yeah, Hiss has an alternate look. You just replace his head and his arms. You, you remove his chest armor. So he looks less uh, humanoid and more more monstrous here. You know, he's got these big, massive uh, snakes for arms. Uh, you know, his head is much, much more serpentine. So there, there that is. Yeah, it's like his, uh, his torso is comprised of more snakes here. Uh, he can't really hold anything in uh, in this form. I don't think the mouths open or anything like that. Now nah, they look they look like they're permanently permanently in the closed position. Position, but I like the way he looks though. Just a really fun uh, feature to add to his because uh, you know I was first introduced to him in the 2002 animated series, the Mike Young Show, and uh, I know whenever they would tick him off in that animated series he would you know shed his his human disguise his skin as it were and uh i've i've actually got that version in classics along with his classics look i haven't uh, taken a look at them yet i thought we'd start with uh this version more akin to the 80s action figure but I, I like what they're doing with him i like that he has the armor that you can take off and he's got the alternate head, the alternate arms, so you can give him his, you know, more uh, serpentine look. It just looks pretty menacing. Uh, a lot skinnier though. Just a just a big bundle of snakes now. And I I think my favorite part of him is the head because he looks like he's looks like he's ready to strike. He's got the mouth open. You can probably you can probably see his tongue. Uh, just a really cool feel to this character. I like the idea that uh, that armor that we took a look at was actually his, you know, his skin from his chest. And you just unstrap that and you, you know, you do some part swapping and you have, uh, you have an alternate King Hiss. So he doesn't do this in the show, of course, you know, none of the animated uh, incarnations. But, you know, since we took a look at Lady Slither, I, I figured we could give him her snake tail. I don't know if it's the right color for King Hiss in this serpentine form, but if you really wanted to go nuts and kind of give him uh, give him a new look, you, you could. I mean, we're going to get other snake tails in the Origins line for sure. Uh, we know one's coming with Necroconda. He'll probably be out by the time this is published. But uh, yeah, you can, give, you can give good old King Hiss a... Uh, a snake tail, if you want. Just have him really look in the, uh, the part of, uh, you know, his serpentine uh, persona here. Um, I, I don't know. I like this pretty well, actually. Um, of course, he walks around. He's got his legs in the show. He really, he, you know, he doesn't use a snake tail. But uh, who knows? Maybe he could tap into some... Uh, secret power or whatever and uh, just get himself a snake tail maybe he could he could uh, you know speak with the unnamed one and and get some new found abilities or something like that who knows uh, but I, I like that look I wasn't sure if I would but I think it really fits uh, it fits the serpentine aspect of him when he's in this form so I, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to display him like this because he never really had the tail, never had the tail at all. But since Origins is known for its part swapping uh, and all that modular connection and all that, I was like, you know, I'm going to give this a shot. So kind of like the way that looks on him, though. Probably not the right color. <laughs> it's probably not the right color at all. But uh, I thought, yeah, why not? We'll just grab Lady Slither's tail and do a little bit of part swapping yeah and it stays on there real well you have to disconnect her little skirt hip piece thing but it's made to come off so yeah i kind of like that it's a pretty cool look for king hiss 
Copy. So, uh, yeah, next time we'll be taking a look at um, Battle Armor King Hiss. Uh, he, he's, he's already opened, but I haven't really taken him out of his little, out of his package yet. So I'll be looking at him for the first time. And, uh, the time after we'll be taking a look at Serpentine King Hiss from, from Classics. And I hear those are pretty cool representations of the 2002, uh, action figure. Well, not that they were action figures in 2002. You know what I mean? They're, they're representations of the 2002 animated series. So yeah, we'll be taking a look at more King Hisses uh, in the videos to come. So be here for those. Until then, guys.